All right, here's a little process that I'm doing to add the auto dimming mirror. You see, that's what it'd look like when you're driving at nighttime. It'd get darkened up so the person behind you, headlights don't blind you. As you see, I bench test it. Now, it's that way. Once when I get connected, it will brighten back up. But what I'm doing here, I got some wiring just laying around the house or in my garage, I would say. And what I'm doing is wiring it up to the connector here. I'm gonna run from here to the mirror. Then what I need to do is run another wire from this connector on up to the mirror to the actual glass itself. On the back of the glass, you'll have a little two wiring that will go for the auto dimming and you'll have two other ones for the heated mirrors. So as you see here, you, you won't be able to see the little writing on here, but B10, I believe is your positive and B9 is going to be your negative. So I got a red wire, not this one here, but the one right next to it, this wire here. That goes to the mirror here, and this gray one here will go to the mirror. Now, before you start doing all the stuff and getting all the parts, whatnot, what I suggest you to do is look on the back of it, of your connectors, and make sure yours is actually wired up for it. Most likely it will be. Mine's an SE, 17 Ford Fusion SE. And mine is wired up for it, but it did not come with the mirrors. I've added that myself. So all I gotta do is just get this one in, the pin in all the way. You probably won't be able to see it. It's gonna be on the top. You won't hear yeah, just a little stud on the right side of it. So I gotta get that pull through here. After that, I gotta get the connector. Strip this off and add a connector to it that'll fit into the mirror. I'll have to look at my wiring diagram to find out which of these white pegs I need to remove and stick it in there for the auto dimming mirror. Alright, so I'm at my workbench. Here's the connector of it, of what it looks like that I was just showing you. I am looking at the male end here. So what you want to look for is the A9 and A10. So you got your A10 right here, your A9 right here. And you can verify it matched up, look on the female side, which is what running from the door pillar on into the car. What I was saying, look on that before you start buying all the parts and make sure. So you can see I got some written down. I've already have it labeled here, B9 and B10. See if I can find it, A9 and A10 right there. So B10 should be a BN for brown. And it probably changes, yeah. So mine probably would be a ground, green and brown on it. B9 would be a blue and gray. Kind of, it'd probably be one of those. They ain't going to be the same color. It's going to be a different color onto it. But I do have that wiring already. So now what I'm wanting to do is go to the mirror connector and find out which one it is. Now if you look in here, this is the female side. I got that labeled up, which one I'm looking at. And here's that one. So B9, if you look over here, it would be right these two right here, right where my fingertips at. Those are the two where you want to put those pins at. So let's go ahead and go to the mirror connector. Alright, now we're on the driver's side mirror. And you just want to look for it, which is the electrochromatic mirror. That's going to be the negative. And you'll have one down here, right here, electrochromatic mirror, and you'll have the positive. So that'd be pin 9. It's on the connector, right there. And then you got the other one, pin 2, which will be right kind of diagonal of it. So I got this mirror here to show you, for example. This is the one I took off my car to upgrade it to the turn signal and mirror. Now here's a neat little thing if you look on the back of it don't know if you'll be able to tell too well it's going to be on the side of it it won't show but if you look on the side of it it'll show a number like one then whatever the end of it is then another number here all the way to this one here. So I gotta do is look for the number and just count let's say this one's one and you want to go two, three is the red, four is the blue, five blank, six green 
you got blank seven, blank eight, and so on. So what you want to look for is pin nine. So this will be this top one here for the pin nine. That would be the positive that I want to add it to. Now pin two is going to be right next to this red one here that you want to put your negative there. And after you do that, all I got to do is run from the connector here to the mirror. Now this one here would be kind of vice versa onto your other... Alright, so I'm at the car. I'm actually at the mirror connector here. Don't know how good the lighting is. But you got pin 1. It's going to be back here, which is ground. Then your pin 2 will be right between it. Then your pin 9 will be right next to this one here that I'm tugging on. It's going to be right in the middle of it. So you're going to put one here and here. So like I said, your pin 2, which will be back here, is going to be the ground. Then you got your pin 9. It's going to be your positive. Right there. So you want to just kind of match it up with the one over here. Look for the pin 9 and pin 2 on this connector here. You can even plug it in and go from there and find out which is which. Alright, so I got it all connected. Like I said, I ran the wire from here to the male connector of the mirror harness. As you can see, I didn't do too good of a job, but it will work for what we're needing. Oh, for what I'm needing. Then I also got the other side connected, which would be right here. I will also zip tie the wires to the wire harness, therefore the window won't chop off the wires on it. Now I'm going to stop here since it's getting kind of cold and I'm starting to lose daylight. And I'll start up the video tomorrow on me doing it from the mirror to this connector here and we'll find out if it actually works. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put everything, plug everything back together, put everything all together in place and call it good for the night. Thanks for watching.